We're back, ready for the Browns and the Patriots. Bill Belichick spent five seasons here in Cleveland, not always the best of times, but he was on the Browns' sideline for Cleveland's last playoff win back on New Year's Day in 1995, ironically against the Patriots. Eric Mangini, six seasons under Belichick in New England before going to the Jets, now in his second season leading the Browns. Cleveland has won the toss, and so they'll have the football to start the game. This is the 22nd meeting between the Browns and the Patriots. Cleveland leads the overall series 12 to 9, but New England has won the last four. The last time the Browns beat the Patriots was back in 2000, 19 to 11 here in Cleveland. Josh Cribbs is back deep. Line drive kick. Feels it at the two. Cribbs gets to the edge. Now back inside and a nice return. 22 yard line. Hillis between the tackles. Nice hole for Peyton Hillis. Leaping over a man and down inside the 25 to the 24 yard line. Peyton Hillis. Well, it's not very often you see a back that's 250 pounds that has this athleticism. Look at this jump right over the safety there. I mean, that's incredible by Peyton Hillis. Bill, he's been very impressive so far for the Browns. First and goal for Cleveland. Already up 3-0. Power formation. Hillis in the end zone. What a start for the Cleveland Browns. Bill, very similar to what happened a couple weeks ago when they played the Saints. They got contributions from their special teams, their defense, and of course the offense has taken advantage of the field position, and Peyton Hillis slams it in there. And he has scored seven touchdowns in the Browns' last eight games this season. Dawson for the extra point. He boots it through. And just like that, with 11-11 left to go in the first, it's 10-0 Cleveland. That's between coaches, as you'll find. Browns lead it. Hillis, nice hole on the left side, turning his legs. Out to the 35-yard line, Mayo made the tackle. Rolling out to Hillis, and he's dropped after a pickup of three. Second and seven, they give it to Peyton Hillis. This is such a powerful runner inside. Came in leading the Browns in rushing and second in receiving. 460 yards rushing, 27 catches for 193. Well, when you watch the film, when you try and tackle a guy like Peyton Hillis, you better have your big boy pads on because you always see defenders going backwards. It seems like they're always absorbing blows as opposed to delivering blows. And in talking to Brandon Merriweather last night, he said, hey, we're really aware of this guy. We got to get him on the ground. We have to tackle. He had some big games when he had the chance in Denver before joining the Browns in the Brady Quinn trade. Third and two for Cleveland. Hillis spins off. To the 36-yard line and a first down. He has been the Peyton here in Cleveland since coming over from Denver. Put up some good numbers, and they really have come to rely on him. Hillis back in, but they have a lot of confidence in Colt McCoy to sort through all the different protections. They give it to Hillis on the delay, and he's down to the 16-yard line. Colt McCoy, the only player in NFL history to make his first three starts against Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. Keep it on the ground with Hillis. Spins for an extra yard. Second and five. Hillis, head up the middle. Powers forward to the 38 yard line. Texas over 70%, second highest in NCAA history. Hillis almost got loose. Second and six. Hillis again. Fullback Lawrence Vickers and Peyton Hillis. They go to him again for the fifth straight time. At 
midfield and a first down. Kyle Arrington, the right corner, made the tackle. Patriots 39 yard line. Hillis, very patient running. And powers his way to the 31. Arrington again on the stop. Well, they love this counter play. And they're going to start it. As you're going to see, watch Lawrence Vickers. They pull these guards. And of course, they do a nice job kicking this thing out. And Peyton Hillis, the big strong back, he can move piles and he knows how to finish runs. But the counter and the power, you have to defend these two runs against the Browns. Puts Hillis over 100 yards, 103 on 17 carries. Third and a long three for Cleveland, trying to keep this drive going. Protect the lead. Hillis to the sticks, and he's got a first down. Peyton Hillis, Gerard Mayo, rode him out of bounds. Top here, showing blitz. They come off the edge. McCoy lofts it to Hillis. An athletic catch and a first down into Patriots territory. Well, they really like, they, they trust this, this running back. They put him out wide. They let him go to work on Mayo. And how many... How many big running backs that are 250 pounds can you put out there as a wide receiver and make this kind of catch on the sidelines? So that's the end of the third quarter. Front. Loss of five, second and 15. They'll keep it on the ground. Hillis, open field for Peyton Hillis. And he's close to a first down. Into New England territory, got loose. Panther Kane made the tackle. Well, he found the seam, the only seam in this defense on the back side. He's going to start and he's going to wind it all the way back. They don't do a good job containing it and sealing it off. Totally Panther Kane way upfield. And of course, the linebacker, Nikovic, he gets sealed way down inside. Peyton Hillis finds that crease. 131 yards after the pickup of 15. 131 on the day for Hillis. Right what Peyton Hillis has done today. Well, he's been outstanding, Bill. This first run really kind of got it started. And great short yardage and goal line situations. A guy that runs with power. He's shown the ability to be a great receiver out of the perimeter. 133 yards rushing. He's also, he's also got three catches for 36 yards. He's got soft hands. I can't imagine how Denver let this guy go in a trade. Browns in that Brady Quinn trade. Second and eight. Hillis gets to the edge. And he stays in bounds. And he's smart Slides enough to go down, down to keep the clock going. And Bill, you think about the problems that Denver's having right now. Kyle Orton is playing really well, but they can't run the ball lick. And this guy has been outstanding this season for the Cleveland Browns. Second and six. Give it to him again. Wow. Running room on the edge. Peyton Hillis is loose. Split to the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, we've seen this a couple times in, the, in, this, in this drive, Bill. They have not done a good job on the backside defensively. Peyton Hillis has been winding runs back. Not done a good job sealing the edge. You're going to see those starts all the way backside. Look at the guard pulls. Look at Lawrence Vickers. He has been outstanding today. You see Mayo here. He tries to make the play, but Peyton Hillis has too much speed once he gets on the perimeter. And that's the final nail. Two thirty-eight left to play. Dawson on to try the extra point. And this has been a overwhelming performance by the Cleveland Browns. You think they're fired <laughs> up? Hey, they're, they're building something here in Cleveland. Watson, the ex-Patriot. <laughs> Dable goes down. He doesn't care. Hey, they love these coaches. They have worked really hard this week. They've worked hard all season. And then in talking with Mike Hooper this week, you know, maybe they don't share the same philosophy in terms of how to get it done, but this team has, has gotten the results these last couple weeks. They're playing hard. They look like a much different football team than we saw a couple weeks ago. Well, remember, they started out 0-3, but in all three of those losses, and it's a rarity, they had the lead in the fourth quarter.
around on the Cleveland sideline. These players know how big this was for their head coach. And that's it. No mas. Mangini making his way across the field. Former mentor awaits. And a few words. It was a little more lengthy than I thought it was going to be. 34 to 14, Cleveland. Coming up next is game two of the NFL on CBS Doubleheader. So for Rich Gannon, this is Bill McAtee saying so long from Cleveland. You've been watching the NFL on CBS.